Hello, my friends. I'm just going to invite my mods, make sure that they are all ready, ready, which I'm sure they are because I have like the best mods in the world. I really do. So I'm just inviting all my mods so they can be here and ready to go. Um, how is everybody doing? I am excited and ready. Oh, my dog's giving me kisses. He's excited, obviously. Well, if you don't mind, Chopper, I'm trying to get my daughter. He's, yeah, I'm trying to get my daughter to get the dog before, before we kick anything off. You know, so, oh, mama, you're not doing great. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you guys for the love. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to get my dog out of here really quickly. Um, she just got them. Hello, everybody. I'm just making sure that they are. Tony, if you guys are in here, could you make a comp? Look at this dog. He's sitting right on top of me now. Look at him. He literally will not go. Okay, he's fine for now. If you hear me call. Bring the little guy up, though. I think that will be. Tony, if you. Hi, everybody. Um, Tony, if you guys are in here, Tony or Randy, could you guys make a comment so I can invite you up or just request to come up right here? Oh, nope. Um, you're not. Uh, you're not, I don't know who you are, who's requesting to come up. Oh, Ange, I invited you by mistake. Please, sorry, that was a mistake, Ange. Sorry, I just need you as a mod not to invite you up. So, um, yeah, he's a sweet boy. Look at him, he's laying right on me. Um, they just commented? Okay. Hmm. There's so many comments coming in, it's hard for me to keep up. Oh, okay, let me invite you. I see you guys. Um... Okay, I just sent you an invite. You guys, just so you guys know, as soon as they get up here, I'm gonna turn the comments off for them to do the introduction. Is Nina in here yet? Um, because I really want Nina to also, these are going so fast. Hey, Nicole, I think I saw Nicole. Okay, great. Hey, Nicole, thank you so much for being here. Um, my mods, you guys know what to do. So thank you guys all to my mods. You guys are awesome. Oh, Nina, you're here too. Okay, great. Nina, I'm going to invite you up now as well. Nina, I just invited you up. All Come on up. We will... Um, Hi. I'm going to come up as well. Hey, Nina. How are you? Good. How are you? Hanging in there, ma'am. Hanging in there. I'm sure you are. You've been busy. Tony, yes, can you guys come up? I sent you the invitation to come up. Where are you guys? Did you not get it? I'm, try, I'm going to invite you guys again. I know you guys have been so busy. I um gave all the information out to my whole entire 1,000 live earlier, so hopefully you'll get an influx of people over here. Awesome. I can't hear her. I'm going to have to go out and come back in. Can you guys hear me? I can't hear Cindy. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay, I was on the phone with Tony, that's why. Sorry oh, about sorry. That. Now I can hear you, sorry. Yeah, I was on the phone with Tony. They were trying to figure out how to get in. <laughs> so I apologize for that. Um, they're trying to figure out how to get in. So I'm not sure why they're not seeing my invites. I'll um, send it to. Yeah, Tony. Yeah, Tony, just comment again and I'll invite you again. They're real new to TikTok, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yep. There, there. Find Caleb Harris. They just commented? Oh, yes, there we go. Said we're here. Okay. I just invited you. 
So hopefully you guys will see it and you can just accept. You see it at the bottom where the two people are, the two little guests. Is it not? I don't know why it's not letting. Are you guys trying? What's are you guys to the right of the comment section? That's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure what's, what is going on, you guys, why they're not able to. Hold on. Sense. He's calling me. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. They have over a thousand followers, you guys. They have well over a thousand followers. So, um, I am not, there's not, there's not a way that I would, um, like my TikTok wouldn't just limit it to one person, would it? Like, right? TikTok would allow me to have more than one person in here, right? I've had more than one person. Um, how can I, is there a way I can check that? Mm. Um, Ange, can you just, Ange, can you check? Ange or Karen, can you check to come up? That's true. I did just show multiple. Turn on multi guest. Where do I do that? Where's multi guest, you guys? I know. I, I knew I can have more than. I know I can do that. I just want to make sure that I have five guest requests in here, but I don't know. Who, I, I, Mich or can one of my mods request to come up, please? You guys, I have like five mods in here. Can one of my mods request to come up, please? None of them are following me. Tina, okay, she just went, I'm not sure why she dropped down. I'm not sure why she dropped down. Nina will be back, okay. You just clicked it and it said you couldn't request. Fix your boxes and you should be able to. What does that mean, you guys? Can someone help? I've never had this problem before. Oh, so now I have two people. Okay. I know, and that worked. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let me just see if I can. Okay. I, look, I'm, it's working. Here, I don't yeah. know if they can see that, that they're not. Cindy. If they're in here, I made this photo real quick. If they can see highlighted where I have the two little people circled, that is what they should be able to hit to request to come in. The problem is they're trying to get on with a MacBook. Oh. 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 Yeah, that's the problem. So I yeah. just got on the phone with Tony and he asked me, how do I get on with the MacBook? I'm not an Apple person, so I don't know. I don't think you can. I because I tried that a while ago with mine and it won't let you. It won't let me on my air. So okay. I do they have a smartphone they can use? Let me go tell him to use the phone. I'll call I'll be right back. Oh. Okay. All right, all my friends, you guys can drop out now. So thank okay. you for doing the experience okay. with me. And now I have to figure out the way to do just three, unless you guys, one of you guys can tell me, how do I, how do I do the, there they are. I just, oh, I, I invited them again. Well, Is there a way that I can do, I get out? oh, I think they're coming. Um. 
E it top right, top right. You'll see the exit. Um, have a good interview. I'm very Thank excited you. to watch this. Thank you. Um, okay. I just don't know how I make this bigger so I can see you guys. There you are. I just don't know how to make this bigger so we can see you guys because bigger. nobody wants to see me. Guys, I walked in through it. Good, they got there it. There you okay. are. I just don't know how to make this bigger there so we can go. see you guys because there. nobody wants to see me. I walked in through it. Good, they got there it. You are. We're getting a big echo from you guys. Are you guys on uh, two devices? Yeah, just put it on the box. Well, it's fine. Like this? No. Leave right there. Just leave right there. We can get both of us. Don't worry about me. We'll get in here. Are you guys? Let's. Okay, we were getting an echo before, but we're not anymore, which is great. I don't know how to get rid of all of these other three things. Do you have any idea, Nina? Um, you mean the request thing? You just have to change your grid pattern. Does anyone know how to do that before I? Um. <laughs> Go to the multi guest button. Okay, that's where I am. And then it should have like uh, across the top, it should have different grid patterns. There should be yes. one for three people. They all couldn't be changed. Um... Oh, you have to go back in the big box. Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah, you have to go back in the big box. There okay. you go. Let me. Ugh. Why do they make this so difficult? You had it. There you oh my go. god. There you go. Okay. Oh, yep, here we are. Okay, now let me put them. Can I put them in the big box? You should be able to. It's okay. We're good there. We're good. We're good there, Sandy. Never mind. I couldn't. Look, it didn't work. That's fine. We're good. Steve. All right. I guess we're gonna have to do it this way. You guys are sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna turn comments off, you guys. So we can get started. All right, you guys, sorry about that. There's always gotta be technical difficulties. I swear that it wouldn't be TikTok if there weren't technical difficulties. So I apologize for that. Um, so anyways, thank you guys for joining us. Um, for those of you who don't follow me, I am Cindy, 716 girl in ATL. Thank you for being here tonight. Um, and with us, we have Caleb Harris's dad, Randy Harris, family friend who's basically family tony mathis and then we have nina glass who has been i don't even know like the everything boots on the ground really leading the search to find caleb since day one and so you guys thank you so much for spending some time tonight to tell us what's going on to update us all on what you guys can tell us on caleb so um, I promised you that we would keep this to an hour maximum. We're going to try to even keep it a little bit shorter than that. I know you guys are exhausted. It's been a super long day for the three of you. So we're going to do everything we can to keep this to less than an hour. Um, so I want to start with you, Randy. Um, first of all, everybody has everybody. And I did a, a live right before this live, just sort of a pre live, if you will. And everybody just is sending you all of their prayers and knowing that thoughts and prayers for you and your family in hopes to finding Caleb, which we all believe that you will. What can you tell us? What is the latest update that you can tell us on? It's been three weeks, a little over three weeks now since Caleb has gone missing. What is the latest update you can give us? Uh, we're, we're just really searching hard. We've got a lot of great people helping us. We've gotten uh, some some national media. Of course, now with 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 Nina and with you, we, we're we're reaching out to TikTok, and uh, we don't really have any firm true north, but um, we're hoping that that's going to come together soon. And uh, we're continuing uh, as many searches as we possibly can. Um, I been out on a helicopter the last two days got a couple of places we're going to go again a wonderful uh dear friend has donated their time in a helicopter and i've got another friend that will help as well and uh we're just uh we're going to bring caleb home definitely 100 percent are going to bring caleb home for those of the people who are watching for the first time can you give us um a brief overview on 
what happened that night three weeks ago that you know of? Uh, initially, um, that night, uh, I guess they, they had gotten a new puppy in, in the, in, with the roommates and him, gotten a new puppy, and they were just having fun with the puppy, taking it outside. Uh, they were playing video games with one of his friends up in Colorado. And, uh, you know, we, we uh, have a video that y'all have seen um, that where they were playing with the dog outside around one o'clock from a ring camera. Uh, 244 chatted my daughter, uh, picture, quick picture video chat, uh, Snapchat of uh, the puppy outside. He was out walking it, uh, ordered Uber Eats for the next day. They go, they, their normal day is go, go to school, come home, get together eat lunch or eat lunch out on their kayaks and go fishing. And uh, that night he had been planning, sending me texts of what fishing lures he's gonna use. And uh, just planning planning the week, planning you know the next day, planning going to Alaska, working this summer in King Salmon, Alaska. Um, had already re renewed the lease, uh, bringing on a new roommate this year. So there's just a lot of uh, just normalities to leading up to his disappearance yeah and um so that's why this is sort of so i think this is why everybody is just throwing their hands up in the air and saying what is going on because exactly what you just said normal college kid got a new dog was outside was outside waiting for his uber eats is that what his roommate said he was just outside waiting for his uber eats delivery possible we don't know that 100 percent, but it's it's certainly possible nina what what Seven. have you yes tony go ahead so we don't want to get too caught up in the details because you know some people have said was he actually waiting on the uber eats delivery those of you that use uber eats we all know that you know they drop the delivery off on the door you get a it, it was ordered as a contactless delivery it's dropped off on the door you get an alert on your phone that says, hey, your delivery's been dropped off. You get a little picture and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, whether he was outside walking around killing time or he was actually outside waiting, uh, that's not really known. Mm -hmm. And it's honestly, it's not even that relevant, to be honest, what he was out there doing, quite frankly. Um, so, Nina, you've been there really since day one, essentially boots on the ground. What have you seen? Have you seen anything, um, anything that you can tell us about what you've been doing, what you've seen, what your team has been doing? I mean, we've pretty much been covering any piece of land within the area. We started out at a very small radius of three miles um, from the place he went missing, which is what we know of as his apartment. So we started out that way and as new and more clues came to fruition, we moved a little further, a little further, a little further and now we're back around to the point where we're researching areas that we searched before just so we can completely say yes this is completely clear we've searched it three times we truly believe that he's not in the area nothing's been found that you can share with us no. nothing's no, been no, found i mean we we're, we're trying we're doing everything we can we've done atvs underwater drones we've walked plenty of miles um, and we're doing everything, you know, the family asks us to do. If there's a location they want us to go to, we'll stop what we're doing at that moment and run over there. We're here for them. So whatever they need us to do is what we're here for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I don't know, Tony um, or Randy, whoever wants to answer this. There's been a lot of questions to me asking about the phone ping, which was uh, a mile and a half, uh, 1.2 miles away from his apartment complex. I'll be honest, I, t I was answering this before. I don't hold phone pings totally reliable, if you want to know my honest opinion. I, I don't trust phone pings, never have. So I don't, I take that with a grain of salt. I'm not sure how you all feel about those, but what are you, do you have a thought on that phone ping that was, you know, 1.2 miles away or whatever? Randy tapped me on the leg on this one, so he wants me to take this one. <laughs> so you're exactly right on the, on the cell phone pings. You know, we've been focused on this magical square mile that everybody's talked about. And quite frankly, we don't even know if 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 that square mile is completely relevant because the triangulation on the cell phone towers is very vague. And so what you could have is you could have it trying to 
hit a cell phone tower over by the pain management clinic that's come up over and over again. And in truth, the phone nor Caleb may have, have never been in that location. So you can't put, you, you can actually put more merit in things like, you know, Live 360, Snapchats, things like that, because they're fairly specific on location. Um, and it's kind of odd to think that we would have to wait to get cell phone pings when some of these user apps are more accurate, but that's just reality. Yeah, I 100% agree. And Nina, you're shaking your head. What are I mean, with your experience, what are your thoughts with, with the cell phone pings? And just over the last five years that I've done this, I do know that cell phone pings are not completely accurate. I do know that all of the land buildings and everything around that pain management clinic have been searched by us a couple of times. And um, in fact, yesterday we were down in the drains, the tunnels looking. I mean, we've done everything we possibly can to look for that phone that's been pinged there. And I just don't believe it's there. I mean, it could have been in a car riding by, it could have been anything, but I just don't believe everybody's so hyper focused on that pain management clinic. Yes. The phone is not there. Caleb yeah. is not there. Yeah. So it's yeah, not I, to move on from that area. Yeah, I agree. It's funny. It's I so agree with what you said, that hyper fixation. It's like people hear one thing and it's like, okay, that's what we've got to focus on. That's, and, and you lose sight of sort of everything else. And that's why I think it's so important for people to hear, especially Nina from you, who's really an expert at this, that they're not all they're not reliable they're not reliable so i think it's very important for people to hear that from an expert like you speaking of the cell phone um is there anything has the cell phone been found or is there anything you can tell us about the cell phone we found a cell phone but it wasn't caleb's <laughs> nina found that after uh, after it had already been searched multiple times mm -hmm. but we, we did find a cell phone but it it wasn't his we haven't unfortunately come across his. So any, um, there hasn't been a digital record then you've gotten from his cell phone. We, no. we have not. Um, I, I'm, I'm fully, uh, fully understand that all of that information is being uh, reviewed and over and over and over. And, and there are new um, things coming in with the authorities. Uh, some, some of that stuff just takes time. Yeah, for sure. I'd, I'd like to, though, there's been some confusion, and I just think whatever you can clear it up with us, to the best of your knowledge, the timeline from that night in regards to the Snapchats that were sent out. I know his last, the last time that he was visually seen was on that video, that surveillance video at 1, 1 a.m. Is, is that correct? Okay. And then the Snapchat to his sister was around what t again, can you confirm the time? I don't want to put words in your mouth. So I just want to confirm the time of that. 244. 244. And then did he send another Snapchat out to a friend that wasn't open for a couple of days? Or is that a rumor? That, that is that is correct. But the timestamp can't be correct. What? T okay, so we don't what time was that at? Do we know or? That, that was just a little bit after what we feel like the phone uh, either went, you know, the battery went out or it was shut off. So it's, we just don't feel comfortable with that time frame at okay. this point. Okay. We did originally, but not anymore. Gotcha. Okay. The problem, Cindy, is we, we have a snap time that's after when the phone shows powering down. So, you know, we're not completely comfortable with that and we don't completely understand it. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, so a lot of discussion today like so much discussion about surveillance videos i can't even tell you the amount of people in questions regarding surveillance videos how many surveillance videos why don't they have more surveillance videos where are surveillance videos what's going on with so tell us anything and everything that you can about surveillance videos i'll, I'll I'll say what I know and then Tony can add what he knows. Sure. Um, so obviously, you know, there's hundreds, no telling how many personal surveillance videos, ring cams, blink cams, things like that. Uh, even the one o'clock video is a, a ring camera uh, that was shared with us the next day. Um, there, there's no telling how many there are out there. And that's why we've been really encouraging everybody take five minutes. It doesn't even take five minutes. Go to your camera, check it out. We found some cameras that only record for three days. 
that had never been looked at. But we, we also feel like um, it, it, as the investigation goes forward, we may not know really exactly what the authorities have already seen or what they've already accumulated uh, that, that, you know, we're, we, we don't know for sure. But it's right now, that's what we're begging everybody to do. And we have been for the last really two weeks is that's the number one thing. And even not just in, you know, the proper area of where the cottages are, but um, all over Corpus and even other, other towns, because, you know, we live in, in New Braunfels. You know, there's no telling, you know, uh, uh, if he's been to New Braunfels, maybe he's been to Austin, Dallas, Houston. There, we don't know, but there's got to be a surveillance camera out there somewhere that shows him in a car or something like that. And Cindy, to, to help you kind of tie all that together to where it makes sense. So everybody is confused as to, as to how these traffic cams, we can't immediately get recordings of those cams because they are owned by the city. Hmm. Well, a few years back, they were having issues with traffic cams causing accidents and whatnot. So they passed an ordinance so that a lot of those cameras on the city streets do not record. So for instance, if you go to, you'll see like if you, if you follow a news station in the morning, they'll do a live traffic cam. Well, the reason that it's live is because it has to be, it doesn't record. So the most valuable data we're gonna have from a camera is gonna be a lot of these private businesses, convenience stores, places like Stripes and places like that. Well those have to be subpoenaed and subpoenas take generally two to three weeks. So we're just getting into the meat of where we're going to start getting some of this data, if that makes sense. Subpoenaed so, unless they're willing to hand them over to you, I would assume, correct? A lot of the convenience stores can't even, uh, they can't, a civilian like us, we can't review their, their information without a law officer. And then some of them do have to go through uh, higher level management, which requires more legal, you know, push. Uh, very few businesses will allow you to immediately go look at a, you know, a security camera for their own liability reasons. Mm -hmm. Nina, what's your experience with, I mean, you have so much experience working with surveillance cameras. Is this typical? Like, is this something that you typically see? Um, it takes a few weeks. How helpful would this be? I just really want to get it out there, the message out there, how important it is, these cameras. So recently with the digital age that's come about, a lot of business owners don't want to release those type of videos to the general public, say me, because they don't want a lawsuit to come back on them. So they do require a subpoena from law enforcement. Like Tony and Randy said, and those take, I mean, we're coming up on where they should be coming back, but... We'll see. I mean, we go around if we see that there's not a store, if there's a store without a flyer, we offer a flyer. Hey, can we put this up? Some of the larger franchise stores don't allow it. Mm -hmm. They just don't. So we do whatever we can. We'll hand them out in the parking lot. We'll talk to the people as we can. We'll do whatever we can just to keep Caleb out there. And that's my number one thing at this point is just to keep him out there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. It's so important. Um, the other questions besides, so you are working to get surveillance cameras. I think that's very important. Right now is the only one that you really have is the one that we've seen um, in the, the ring camera. That's really the only one that's out there. That's the only one that we're aware of, yes. That's okay. the last time that Caleb's image was caught on a camera. And the reason that we're begging the public to check their doorbell cams, security cams and whatnot, is that's data that if they're willing to help, and everybody has been, we could have that data immediately. Yeah. I mean, I have to tell you, I just watched, there's actually a TV show that's, I don't know, I don't know if it's on Netflix or Hulu, and that's exactly what it's about. Crimes that were solved 100% by surveillance cameras. So the reality is, is that's how important they are, y'all. I can't urge how important these surveillance cameras are. If you live anywhere, as they said, anywhere in, in Corpus Christi, Austin, it takes five minutes to look look through your footage even if you think mm, that might be him it looks it, it's a guy that could be him send it in what does it hurt better to be safe than sorry let the law for let law enforcement look at it i mean that's what what we're, we're begging for sorry go ahead yeah i'm sorry yes i'm sorry <laughs> i just talking about it i just want to make bring in the time frame march 4th 
you know, Monday morning, March 4th, uh, between just to say 2.30 and, you know, 4 o'clock. So somewhere in that time range, and it could be other, we need to look at everything, obviously. That's probably ground zero that needs to be looked at. And then from there, just over the past three weeks, just see if you see something different, an anomaly, something, you know, maybe something. You know, maybe, maybe uh, we just see somebody that just doesn't look right, or maybe he's gone to somebody's front door and knocked on the door. You know, we just right. don't know. Right. right. I, again, if you think it, it you're not going to be wrong, no one's going to make fun of you. No one's going to think it's silly or foolish if you think, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, send it in. I mean, what's the worst? We'll be like, thank you. We appreciate, but no, that's not Caleb. So that's, I think, such an important ask right now is to please, 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 if you have a ring, if you have any camera anywhere in that area, as you said, like within those time frames, within the past three weeks to please look through, because I think it's another is important thing, especially for businesses. A lot of times they start taping over, um, what, like a month later, they only save them for what, like a month, I think a lot, a lot of, them of them are 30 days, 30 Style. days. Yeah. A lot of the doorbell cameras are set when they're, they're pre their default setting is three days. Oh my God. Okay. So, yeah. You know, yeah. we found a couple that we helped older gentleman, wonderful, sweet man, uh, who'd been following the case, you know, he, he, his was set for three and, you know, Tony's like, no, we're just setting this for 60 days in case you have something come up. You know? Exactly. Exactly. And I think that's just such an important thing that can be done. And it's such an easy ask um, that, you know, again, please. And what, what, how, if someone does see something, what's the best way that they get that video? How do they get that video to, who do they get the video to? Best thing to do just to be safe is to call 911 and report it. Okay. okay. Just don't delete it, you know, report it. Hey, I've got a video here, call 911. It's just like if you find something on the ground that you think, hey, it, you know, this could be a shirt, this could be, you know, a pair of pants or whatever, you know, don't touch it, you know, call 911, they'll come out, they'll, they'll, they'll look at it and see. Can I add to that real quick? Because I know um, with social media has become a big thing, but what I'd really like everybody to do instead of reporting to the book face page or TikTok or anything like that about Caleb, please call 911. Call 911. If That's you think what you're asking us to do. Exactly. Thank you, Nina. If you see Caleb, call 911. Don't come on Bookface and tell us about it. Don't come on TikTok and tell us about it. Tell us about it afterwards. Don't tell us about it at first. Please call the local police department. Treat it as evidence. Don't touch it. And again, I think it's so important to don't feel foolish. Don't feel ridiculous. Like, even if you're not sure, call 911 because you could have a critical piece of evidence. You could be the you could be the person that cracks this case. And I just want to, that's so, so important. So 911, that's really, really important. Let's bring it back a little bit to a couple of the other questions um, that I've we've gotten is regarding some, whether or not some people were cleared. What about the Uber driver? Can you tell us anything? Was the Uber driver cleared? Have you spoken to the Uber driver? Can you tell us anything about the Uber driver? Lots of questions about the Uber driver. Yeah, the uh, the Uber driver, I mean, they've been researched thoroughly and, and we're safe to say at this point, we don't feel like that they're involved. Um, there's a lot of things that we can't share about that, but you know, the basic things, they continued on with their deliveries and you know, we just uh, we just don't feel like they're involved in, in, and I know you're going some other places with this. So I'll let you ask the questions and we'll we'll check the rest of the people off. But most of the people that that make sense are cleared. Yep. And you know exactly where I'm going. Then the next question, of course, is the roommates. Roommates are 100 percent cleared. Uh, absolutely. Um, uh, and, and to the extreme. Uh, so not only the roommates, but but we, it, Caleb has a very tight group of friends um, that are, you know, some from school that he's met in the last few years, uh, but the majority of them he grew up with, you know, played football with, uh, you know, just, you know, a, a cotillion, um, you know, all kinds of stuff, you know, talent shows, uh, band, you know, everything, fishing, obviously, you know, best friends, fishing. Uh, there's, there's a great YouTube video out there of a lot of the boys fishing during COVID. Um, so it's just, it's, that is, uh, you know, and, and yes, the, the authorities have done very well 
um, and clearing their, them from any anything. Uh, can't say a whole lot of what they did, but yes, they have, they're definitely clear and should not even be an issue going forward whatsoever. And we never thought we never thought anything different because we know these kids. Right. 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 And I'll, I'll add to that, Cindy. Um, I came down and I told Randy before I came down that the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to the roommates because I wanted to have a feel for whether or not, you know, I thought any differently. And I talked to these two kids and I can tell you, I got a 25 year old that's getting ready to graduate this spring. And if my son had these two roommates, we'd be blessed. Oh, I love that. I love that. Um, and so I'm assuming that they've, they have, help been out searching helping you um i'm sure they have been how have they been how have they been assisting this wow um initially of, of course we had hundreds if not thousands of you know students kids local uh, uh corpus christi people i mean we have corpus christi people that have just 100 percent embraced us and and we'll never ever be, be able to thank there's just it's it's we'll, we'll never be able to thank them i mean we just we do thank them oh you're muted you're muted sorry you're muted we can't hear you um so as far as the roommates and the roommates massive amount of help with uh mostly well initially searching i mean just immediately uh as soon as as soon as it got elevated to a missing persons uh there was a a report you know of another father looking for a boy and immediately you know everybody went on a frantic well the 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 room, one of the roommates and, and, and a real close fishing buddy who who had been fishing with Caleb the, the day before man they're throwing i mean as fast as they could they're throwing their fishing waders on and they were gone and uh, gone for hours, you know, looking at, you know, uh, because they knew the, they knew the location. And so they went. And so that's the kind of reaction. I mean, this, and so they went. And so that's the kind of reaction. I mean, this, and so they went. And so that's the kind of I don't know why we're getting a little bit of an echo. Maybe mute and unmute. Maybe mute and unmute. Tony, is somebody calling you? Or someone could be calling you. Yep. Calling you. Yep. It was. Are we there now? Yep. Okay. Calling you. Yep. It was. Are we there now? Oh, it's still a little echoey, but. It was. Are we there now? Oh, it's still a little echoey, but. You might have to go out. You might have to scroll up and go come back. Like acts like you're, um, Tony. You know how it acts like you're um, closing the app all the way out. You might have to do that and come right back. Yep. Looks like you know. There we you go. there? Yep. That worked. That worked. Okay. Yep. Are we good? We're good. Okay. Yeah, that happens when you get phone calls. It's very annoying. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, uh, just to, to finish that question. Yeah, I mean, we had, uh, we have some real close friends right there in, in the complex that live right across from them, uh, got their drones out immediately and started hitting, you know, the, the creek bed and all that area there. I mean, it was, it was, we weren't waiting at all for any additional search and rescue. I mean, we, the, the kids were amazing. They got on it, got hundreds of, of flyers out along with, you know, family and friends and, and friends from, uh, the next morning there was a prayer vigil and uh, at our uh, one of the local churches in new braunfels and then as soon as that was over they they all showed up in corpus and i mean it was just amazing it's amazing nina yeah. i'm sure oh sorry go ahead tony i'm sorry everybody you know it's a valid question everybody you know those of you that followed the idaho four case everybody went after the roommates and everybody's asking you know what are they doing now these kids haven't had a break. They've been interrogated. They've been questioned by other people. They've had reporters trying to get a hold of them. And I mean, these kids, I mean, they're missing the roommate and they, they haven't even had a chance yet to, 
to catch a breath and, and they've still got to go to class every day. So, you know, one of our asks would be that, that people trust Randy when he tells them that they are completely cleared. You know, let's, uh, let's support them. Let's get on board with them being part of the family and let's just leave that alone. That horse is dead. Yeah, Tony, you know what? You bring up a really valid point, um, particularly when you're talking, when you brought up Idaho, because I think, I think anything that Randy says or you say or anybody that you delegate as sort of a spokesperson, that's who you should believe and that's it. You know, we've been talking about this. Uh, someone said the other day on one of my lives that it's like a, the game of telephone, which I love because someone says something then it goes and then the next thing you know, it's completely misconstrued and it's these horrible lies that are coming out of nowhere. And I think it's such an important thing to do to just listen to the facts and that's it because otherwise these rumors get out there that are just coming out of nowhere and they can hurt people they obviously can hurt the family um they can get police involved that shouldn't be involved in things and it can really cause a real problem so i'm just asking anybody the people who are watching this now to please out of respect for the harris family and 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 the police and anybody who's involved with this just listen to their family and law enforcement and that's it and not someone on reddit and not someone on you know TikTok, unless it's a delegated person and you know not someone on instagram or just like because that to me is critical i feel like is very important um because it can really hurt things is you know very much so um you know really quickly they sorry yeah think yeah including the investigation when we go off on tangents and all of a sudden it's all over social media, um, it, it can it can really impede the investigation, and uh, you know any kind of information will, will will basically be shut down because they they just can't have that. And, and it's critical that you only know the facts and what we can know. And um, yeah, you're absolutely right. And thank you for saying that. I appreciated that a lot. Absolutely, Nina. You um, so uh, Randy and Tony were just talking about all of the support that they've had. So I'm I'm assuming that from your point of view, the college students and Randy and uh, Caleb's friends, talk to me just a little bit about how it was working with them. We've had some of the people that live in the cottages. We've had a lot of people that know um, Caleb. In fact, my son's uh, best friend knows Caleb. She goes mm. to Texas A and M University. Wow. He's not the reason why I got the case. One of my investigators is down there to send it to me, but she came to to my hotel on Saturday with her boyfriend and just wanted to talk to me about how thankful they were that me and my team was down there looking for their classmate. And at that minute, I hadn't met Randy, but I text with him a little bit. I talked to Tony a lot. That meant more to me at that moment than anything else in the world mm -hmm. because she knew that Devante's mom was out there looking for her friend Caleb mm. and, and that meant the world to me I mean to tears I mean it was just it was crazy but Randy and Tony both know I do this with my whole heart yes yes and my whole heart is there I came home for this doctor's appointment I'm home right now I'll be back in the morning or tomorrow early afternoon we'll be back at it full, full fledged tomorrow evening and Thursday morning all the way through next week again you know and, and and people keep asking me when do you stop and I say when my heart tells me to stop you're a blessing, Nina. You really are a blessing. And yeah, you like gave me chills telling that story because I know I mean, that you, you do put your whole heart and soul and everything you have into everything you do. And so you're just, you're such a blessing. You really are. Let me say this about the people of Corpus because my team here in San Antonio can't go down with me all the time. But let me tell you, there are six individuals in Corpus that are with me every day. They're my little core group. Um, they actually want to be certified in search and rescue. They want to talk about doing it down there in Corpus because there's nothing like that down there. So not only are they searching for Caleb, but they're also continually gaining the knowledge that I have by asking me questions. Hey, Nina, can we do this? Can we do this? Can we do that? Where do I go to get, you know, certified? What do I need to do? I mean, and they're an awesome group of people, too. So I want to say thank you to them as well. Yeah, it, it really seems like it. So bringing it back really quick, and, we're, and I'm, I'm going to kind of try to sum it up before I open it up for a few questions, because I, I'm very cognizant of time. In regards to his friends, I know they notified you, Randy, and were you the first that they called sort of Monday Monday morning, they said? Actually, my wife. Uh, you, my, yeah. They called my wife uh, around, um, I guess it was 
132, something like that, that timeline's a little blurred because, you know, in the moment we were, you know, I was already south of town working and uh, my wife calls me and says, hey, you know, and, and I had noticed early on, I mean, it's not uncommon for them to sleep late a little bit on Mondays because classes until, you know, 1030 or 11 and then they were going to go fishing. So that's kind of normal. I didn't get any feedback from them. But then uh, when my wife called me, you know, there, you get that gut feeling, you know, that yeah. parent yeah. feeling. And, uh, you know, I immediately came, came down here as fast as I could. I'm sure you did. So before we open up for questions, um, because we've been on for f almost 40 minutes, because we did start a little late, I want you to just tell everybody who's watching now, and then this will obviously be on my YouTube, tell us about Caleb. Tell us, you know, about your son, what kind of a person he is. Let us know who, who he is. Wow, that's a lot. Um, Caleb, just a wonderful son, um, you know, wonderful family kid, uh, loves to hunt, fish, loves the outdoors, um, loves to play music, you know, grew up uh, just full of life, and he is full of life, uh, loves his family, uh, very close friends uh, group, uh, always involved in church, uh, church, choir, not choir, but church um, uh, you know, praise and worship groups, you know, playing the bass or playing the drums. Uh, it's at, at school, very involved in school, played football, baseball, um, just a team sports kid. And, uh, you know, going into college, this was kind of a dream area for him because, uh, you know, we, we, it's literally his playground, you know, the ultimate playground for a kid like him, uh, studying environmental science, uh, would like to go on to be possibly a game warden or maybe a, a environmental attorney. Um, mm -hmm. so that's the plan right now. And, Part of going to Alaska had a lot to do with that, working, you know, in that environment. Um, just all around, just outdoor kid. I mean, just full of life. Uh, grades were great, are great. Um, just everything's good. Everything's positive. Uh, there's no, there's nothing negative at all in his life. And matter of fact, uh, the roommates will be the first to tell you that, that, you know, that cohesiveness has been amazing, especially this semester and, you know, teaching each other how to hunt, teaching each other how to fish and, uh, you know, going, being specific about what they're doing. He's a very black and white, very, um, organized, uh, you know, what I'm trying to say, um, you know, you know what he's going to do. We knew, yeah. you know, creature of habit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. the roommates could tell you he's going to order two Lunchables an apple pie and a Red Bull for fishing on Monday. <laughs> that, that was just normal, you know? I love um, yeah. I mean, just, uh, I, he's just a full, he is just a great, fun, happy kid that just is a, is the light of the room when he, and, and, you know, he, he just really is. I mean, it's just a normal 21 year old kid. Oh, I love that. So um, last thing, um, because you're going to get this in question, so I might as well ask it now. Um, and I, what can we do besides, I know obviously the videos are huge. What can we do to support you? I mean, we're, we're obviously praying so hard for you. Lots of prayers and, and we've been praying and we're gonna to continue to pray. How can we help support you? Nina, what can we do for you? What can we do to support you all? Go ahead, Nina. Um, the biggest thing for me is just the lodging down there. I mean, <laughs> everything else, you know, we can take care of. Um, the lodging has come from my TikTok community. It really has. I've been paying for my lodging from donations from my TikTok community. So. When I go back down there, if anybody wants to help pay for a night or, you know, whatever, just let me know. Shoot me a message. I'll give you the name of the hotel that I'm staying at. You can pay them directly. I'm not, you know, I'm not asking you for any of the money wise. Just help me out with the lodging. Yeah, please know that Nina does this for one. She it's all volunteer. You guys just I'm know a that one C3 nonprofit. Yeah, it's all volunteer. And I do want to say I know that there is a, a, a small GoFundMe that has started um, for for fine Caleb Harris that was started as well to help support the any because it's it's not cheap. Family. Yeah, it just help support the family to help support the search fees if if you need drones, if you need water, whatever, because it's not cheap. And I will post the link to that um, on all of my stories as well, because like TikTok doesn't let you post links. I'll post it under the YouTube. Um, but you can also Google it as well. But there is a I know there's not a ton of money in it yet, but maybe again, I just always tell people, 
I know it's tough. It's a tough time, but even if you can donate a dollar, anything that you can do to help. And if you can't, obviously prayers are always welcome. Okay. Um, and I will post that GoFundMe in case anybody, even if you have a dollar. I tell yes. everybody, you know, it does, it's not monetarily as much as it is share our TikToks, put yes. it out there, put our lives out there, tap on the screen. It's a hundred percent free. Yes, so yes. even the find Caleb Harris page, follow that page, Yes. throw those videos back out there, repost those videos. All we got to do is continue to share on social media and we'll find Caleb. So Absolutely. if we can continue to do that, that's completely free. Yep. That's a very, and use the hashtag find Caleb Harris, whatever you do. This live will be on my YouTube tomorrow. Same, uh, same name, someone six girl in ATL in case you want to share it or tell people who missed it or whatever. I'm going to open it up very shortly. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Let me, let me say something too, because we've covered a lot, but there's a lot of thanks that is owed to a lot of different people. They've had a lot of incredible friends of their family that have given them prayers, financial support. Uh, they have a close friend, Emily, that did a phenomenal video for the family, and she's done a lot of things behind the scenes. Uh, there's also a story, kind of how I met you, was a similar story and how we got connected to Nicole and her Facebook page. You know, I was looking at the pages. One of them looked somewhat, you know, legit. Didn't know Nicole from Adam. Went back and followed her Jason Landry page and, and realized that she had a good heart. So I connected with her in a similar way that I did with you and and made some agreements with her that, hey, we'll support the page. And, you know, if you support the family and you, you know, you take their feelings into consideration and so we owe a, a big thanks to Nicole, who's the admin of that page. Mm -hmm. Also Priscilla, who's a, a moderator of that page, who's a very close friend of the family. Uh, I can tell you that I'm involved somewhat in that too. And, and trying to keep the wrong things off of that page, it is a full-time job. And those two ladies do a phenomenal job of that. I mean, we're, we're texting and talking at two and three in the morning when everybody else is in bed and the crazies seem to come out. <laughs> uh, so, so, you know, we, we definitely owe a thanks to them. And then, uh, then of course, all the, the friends and family, the roommates, the roommates as parents, uh, you know, moms. And I mean, there's been a lot of people that, you know, on behalf of Randy, I mean, we, we owe a thanks to all of those people. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I want to back that up 100%. I mean, just the the the, the outpouring, outflowing of love and prayers. Number one, we're we're a family of faith, and and my wife is is a rock standing standing firm, you know. And 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 my daughter is just amazing, you know. And she's you know great, and she's been really good. She just turned 17 this week, and uh, you know that's hard. She's missing, you know. That's their best friends, and so. Uh, you know, I, I have to reach out to my wife as well because she's just been amazing and she's been my rock through this whole thing. But also we, we do feel, you know, we are a family of faith and, you know, we, we believe uh, that he's going to come back and, yep. and we're, we're going to see him soon and uh, we'll give all the glory no matter what. And uh, we're excited for that. And we just thank everybody that that's helped us out. It's just been uh, beyond belief, but it, First and foremost, we just ask for prayer. I mean, just just prayer for his safety, prayer that uh, you know, God's got a hedge of thorns around him and that he will remember scripture. And uh, he's grown up. He knows the Bible inside and out. And I know that God will, he will reach out for God's guidance and, and, and God will give him that scripture uh, until we get this done with. And we're looking forward to having him back and you know, getting out there and doing some fishing. Absolutely. And I said, hey, this is the week of miracles, if you believe, right? This is the holy week, holiest week of the year if you're a Christian. So I said, why not have a, a, another big miracle? And this is the week that we all find Caleb, right? That's what I truly believe. It's the holiest week of the year if you're a Christian and the week of miracles. We all know what happened, you know, this if you're a Christian. So, uh, and I believe that. And so I believe this will be the week that we find Caleb. I just want to say thank you to the local Corpus community. Um, they fed us. The last oh. couple of weeks, they brought food, breakfast, lunch. We've had some home-cooked dinners that have been nice. phenomenal. 
So, I mean, little things like that, you know, you can't afford to donate, but hey, you can afford to cook or something. Absolutely. Anything like that is absolutely, absolutely going on. One thing I will say is we don't need any Gatorades, waters, or snacks right now, guys. <laughs> want, I just don't want anybody to waste their money. I received yeah. a really big donation on Saturday, and we still have a lot of that, and I don't want anybody to waste their money on that. But signing up with uh, Nicole on yeah. the, the uh, Facebook group, she's got to sign up Jeannie to feed the volunteers for lunch and for dinner or breakfast and lunch, whatever, that you don't – understand that helps us out so much because we're not thinking about eating awesome. while we're yeah. out there looking. and they're constantly getting on I me mean, you know you have to eat you know you got yes, to eat you do girl I yes do I do. yes yes you I do tell them when i get on tiktok i ate today guys i you know because it's it it gets it gets here because my brain is just fine caleb and eating is the last thing on my menu but yep. like the corpus community has fed us and they've done a phenomenal job awesome so can I ask, can we open it up for five minutes of comments and questions? Okay. So I just want to, my mods know who you guys are. Um, so my mods, I've had lots of conversations with. So we're going to have five minutes, you guys, of questions or comments. I think we we answered a lot of questions or a lot of comments. Um, so if there are any last minute questions, um, Uh, then let's 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 go to them. Um, lots of prayers. People are lots of pra clothing description. Do we have a clothing description of what he was wearing that night? I don't know what the video was at one o'clock. Uh, white button down, short sleeve shirt, cap, and uh, we've got him some. Uh, since he's going to Alaska, we got him some nicer uh, sim style fishing pants. So they're more like a nylon type pant. Uh, and they're, they're, everybody's been saying teal. They're, they're not teal like what I'm wearing. They're more of a, a darker green, blue teal, you know, darker color. Questions about, had he met someone on a date? Was he, was there rumors about that he had met someone or a dating site? I just saw like five questions of that right in a row. So I, let's clear that up if that's a rumor, because I don't know. I just literally saw that five times in a row. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, you guys cleared that up, cleared that up. Um, was he headed fishing? Couple questions about that. Do you think he could have been going fishing that early in the morning? Did he have fishing gear? No. Uh, what color was his cap? Do you know what his cap color was that he was wearing his baseball cap? Kind of white beige, white beige color cap. Was his phone turned off or did it, did it die? Do you know that? We don't have a 100%. Um, it, it could have just died, um, but it, it, you know, we don't know that. That's a that's still a mystery for sure. I saw something um, about two GoFundMe's. There is two. There's two. There's two GoFundMe's. Okay. There's two. Okay. We will post those as well. Um, I saw something about, um, is it confirmed that he was barefoot? Uh, we're 99.9% .9 sure we are, we have accounted for all the shoes that, that, you know, we kind of control what he buys and stuff to, you know, cause we're, he's a college kid. Um, and in the videos, uh, he was barefooted. So we're going to, we, 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 we we're 99.9, 100% sure. Yes. He was barefooted. Does he have any medical issues that you're aware of that could have? No. no, no. Was he wearing an Apple watch or did he? No, no. Um, let's see. Have drugs been brought out yet? Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, my dog is right here. Um, does he have any tattoos or anything else to help identify him? No. Okay. These are going so fast, you guys. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get them when I when I can. Uh, have you looked through his laptop or any other uh, digital records? Yes. I couldn't hear what you said. I'm sorry. Yes. And nothing in nothing that really shows you anything. Okay. Um, where was his last phone pinged? We talked about that. They're, we, they're not reliable. So, um, was it f true that he was seen on a gas station camera? Not that we know of, no. Yeah. I think if there was any of that, we would have probably talked about that today. Um, have you checked his social media? So I'll take that to, just to kind of tie into the other question. When you asked, have we checked? his laptop the authorities have his laptop so okay. that that tells you it's not that we didn't find anything that's under investigation it's part of the investigation 
all of those things will be looked through and, and that's really all we can say at this time. Makes sense, yeah, understand. Um, someone asked the question about how has involved his law enforcement been? Uh, extremely. Okay, Very good. Much. Is FBI involved? Uh, I think that's pretty well, uh, I think that was talked about a little bit today. So there are other authorities involved. There, there are multiple authorities involved, both both law enforcement and private. Yep. Okay. Good. Um, let's see. Are there other towns besides Corpus being searched? I think you already talked about that. You said all the way down to where you guys live. Yes. Um, I don't know if it really. What kind of phone should people be looking for? What kind of phone did he have? iPhone twelve. Do you know what color it was? It's, it's black or silver. I think it is black. Okay. Oh, no, it is black. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. He did not have his wallet, right? He All he had with him was his phone, correct? He didn't have ID or wallet with him, right? What did he do earlier in the day, that Sunday? Did he go fishing? Did he? Yes, uh, him and, and one of his friends and his friend's girlfriend have been fishing all day and then that led into the normal nighttime uh, activities and playing video games with his friend up in Colorado. Um, was anything bothering him? Anything out of the norm? The roommates are cleared, you guys. No, we already talked about this. He had no issues with anyone. He was a happy go luck. We talked about all of that. So no. Um, no, we don't know. Nope. A lot of these questions that you guys are answering, you can go back and watch. We answered all of these, which is why I'm not questioning them. I I'm going to take, I think we're going to do, what did you say? Can I say something real quick? Yes, Nina, of course. There's a whole situation about this homeless man and us. Listen, guys, we found the phone with the homeless lady. The homeless lady told us that a homeless man saw Caleb before. Not the day he went missing, but before. But they, when they took, when the police talked to the homeless man, we don't know what he said to authorities. We're not going to sit, I'm, please stop implying that I said that, please, because I did not say that. That's not what was said. Okay. And I think with that, you guys, it's exactly 1030. Um, so we're going to stop with the questions. I said I, I would give it no more than an hour. These guys have been out and Nina have been out all day searching. And so the, lots of people are asking if they can add them to their prayer lists, if they will take prayers. Absolutely, that's what they're asking for the most. Um, so please, please, please continue to pray. If nothing else, pray for them. Again, the other thing that you can do is if you're anywhere down that area, uh, look through any survey, any videos that you might have, ring, surveillance, any of that, that is absolutely important. Follow, follow their TikTok page, find Caleb Harris, Follow, follow the Facebook page, which is Nina, or what's the exact name of the Facebook page? Missing Talk of Caleb Harris. Missing Talk of Caleb Harris. Follow those two, please. Hashtag find Caleb Harris as much as you can. Share, 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 share his face. Share these stories. Share these pages. We need to find Caleb. I am going to post both GoFundMes that are out there. Like I said, if you can share a dollar, if you can share whatever um that you can share or share i'm sorry if you can donate a dollar if you can donate to whatever you can donate um please do so before you know but again if not they will take prayers uh i uh, they're asking to end with a prayer i don't know how to do that uh i don't know if, if randy, randy if you want to do that uh, if you randy's got it okay if, randy's yeah got randy it. can do that i don't know how to do that but they've asked to end in prayer so let's let's go to it Father God, we just we just thank you today. We thank you for this immense amount of people and technology and things that we have. And we just ask you, Lord Jesus, just to uh, take care of Caleb, uh, have him recalling scripture and keep him safe so that we can we can come home and he can come home. And uh, Father, we just ask you to keep all of the volunteers and all the people and the, our families that are working so hard to bring Caleb home. We just ask you to keep them safe. Lord, we know that you're, you can do this. We glorify you in all, everything that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And thank you, Randy. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Nina. Thank you to everybody who has been watching. 
and keep those prayers up you guys and share this like i said this will be on my youtube tomorrow and we will keep you updated obviously i will be in touch with um, tony and randy and we'll update you as we have news so with that you guys have a great night thank you for watching and we will see you all again soon take care